Well, hey folks, and welcome to Homesteader News. Hey, I just thought I'd put up this uh, short video on an update uh, on my refrigerator system. I've talked about some different systems that you can use. I've shown you some DC uh, Peltier type coolers. Uh, I've shown you propane fridges. I've tried a lot of different fridges in my cabin, uh, trying to find one that would work, uh, that uses the least amount of power uh, and, and works well with my system because I, I have a, a small solar electric system. My system's only 580 watt solar, 400 watt wind turbine. Uh, and I finally found uh, a fridge uh, that was highly recommended by a lot of RV users and off-gridders and uh, they're a bit bit expensive mine was about two hundred dollars now they want about three hundred and fifty dollars but you might be able to find them cheaper uh, so I'm going to show you this fridge uh, and I've been using it now because I wanted to make sure it would actually work well for my situation before I recommend it I've been using it now for about six months uh, very happy with it and so it might work for some of you that are looking for a refrigerator for your house on wheels or your off-grid cabin or even for a, a small house. So let me show you what this fridge is and uh, explain a little bit about how it works. Okay folks, so this is an Edge Star brand, uh, what they would call a micro or compact refrigerator. And these, as you can see, it has a uh, freezer unit on top and I like that, it has a separate freezer compartment. Some of these only come with an ice box inside the refrigerator. I don't like those. They don't hold as much food. They don't seem, seem to stay as cold as you need for a refrigerator compartment. So one of the things, features I like about this Edge Star is it has a separate freezer compartment on top uh, and a pretty good size refrigerator on the bottom there. And I'll open this up and show you what it is. But I want to tell you, uh, I purchased this uh, about a year ago. I wanted to use it for a while before I decided if I wanted to recommend it. Uh, I paid about $200, but these have been going up in price as I see they now want about 350 so you have to check around to see uh, if you can find a better price. Uh, these use about 75 watts to get the compressor running and I'll show you the compressor in the back and kind of explain how that works. They use about 75 watts to get the compressor running but once the compressor is running they only use about 30, 35 watts while they're running so they're pretty efficient for use on a small solar electric system like mine. So uh, this, they come in a couple of different models, but I like this one. This one has a, uh, a chrome plate front, uh, so it's easy to wipe off and clean. And the, the freezer compartment, if you can see this in here, the freezer compartment is good size. It also has a place in the door here, and you can, you can get a whole lot of meat and, and frozen dinners and all kinds of frozen stuff in there. It's a pretty good size uh, freezer compartment and as you notice it's got pretty decent insulation especially across the top it's probably one of the better insulated ones uh, out there it, ha it has uh, approximately two inches of insulation on the freezer compartment that's real good and the freezer compartment sits above the fridge which helps hold the cold down into the fridge too so that's important uh, like I said it's got a door opening there and then on the fridge see if we can show this uh, you can see it's got a uh, place up there for eggs, uh, a place for a soda bottle, uh, another door storage area. So it's got a good storage area in the in the door, uh, pretty decent. I think this is a 4.2 cubic feet is what they call it. Uh, it has good good storage space inside. There's the control, and you can see that my control is set uh, between 5 and 6 on this unit. Uh, it also has a light. However, I noticed that the lights sometimes... There we go. The light sometimes uh, must have a bad connection because sometimes the light doesn't come on when I open the door. But other than that, everything works fine. And it also has a uh, vegetable crisper underneath. Oh, it looks like I need to do a little cleaning in here. Something's dripped. Um, however, my vegetable crisper, since I eat mostly fresh vegetables, my vegetable crisper um, <clears throat> kind of holds my uh, libation and keeps my, my beer cold. So that's what I use it for. Although I do have some vegetables and a few things in here. Uh, and I don't keep a lot of stuff in my fridge. Oh, I got my worms. I'm going to go fishing later on. Anyway, you can see there that that's a, a pretty decent sized fridge. Plenty of room there for a couple of people to store their food uh, and take care of their, their refrigeration needs using this fridge. Now I'm going to flip this uh, backwards so I can show you the compressor and kind of explain how the power systems on these small refrigerators work so they can be efficient. Okay, so I've just turned this fridge around now, and hopefully you'll be able to see this. Uh, this is the compressor that this small fridge has in it. And most 
refrigerators use a compressor system, but not all refrigerators. And uh, the old style refrigerators actually used Freon, uh, but they banned Freon because it has CFCs that damage the ozone. So what these compressors use now is kind of an ammonia mix instead of a Freon, which is not going to damage, if it escaped, it isn't going to damage the ozone. So now that's what they use. It's still efficient, but was is not as effective as what Freon used to be, which was very, very good at uh, capturing heat and moving it away from the refrigerator. How these work is you've got these little tank down here, pipes, and then you've got a little compressor motor, and you might be able to hear it on the video. You can hear it running. Okay, and the compressor uh, is the part that... Uh, uses the power. What it does is it pushes that uh, that chemical, which we'll, we'll call Freon, it pushes it around through these coils around the sides of the refrigerator and around the top. And what that does is as it's moving around, uh, it collects the heat. And what it actually does is it gets the heat out of the fridge, brings it around, and then expels it down out, out through the bottom here. Now these refrigerators like this do not use any type of fan pump. On bigger refrigerators, most house refrigerators also have a fan pump that actually blows across the fins and cools it down faster. These units like this don't use any type of fan to cool it down. So they don't cool as fast. When you set one of these up, a lot of times it might take a day for it to get cold enough before you can store food in it. So you want to keep that in mind when you get it. Don't think the fridge isn't working because it takes a full day for it to get cold. That's just the way these are. As long as you are plugging them in every day, you won't have that problem. It'll, it'll get cold pretty fast. But if you let them go for a day or two and then plug them in, you're going to have to wait for them to uh, cool back down again. So that's the compressors that they use in these small refrigerators. And because the compressor motor is really small, uh, in fact, that's the compressor motor right there. It's just a real small thing. It, uh, it has like one piston in it, and it takes quite a bit of power for it to get moving. So it takes about 75 watts on this fridge just to get that compressor pump to start and move. But once it's running, then it doesn't take very much power at all. So what you want to do is try to run it for as long a period of time as you can instead of having it shut off and on and off and on. Then you won't use as much power. So how I use my refrigerator is in the morning, usually by 10 o'clock, my solar panels have already charged up my entire battery bank. And then I turn on the fridge. And uh, once the fridge is running, it doesn't use very much power, and it will just run directly off my solar panels without draining my batteries down. I let it run usually from 10 o'clock in the morning or so until about 5 o'clock at night, and then I turn it off. And it stays cold and frozen all night long. I don't have to worry about my, my food uh, unfawing and spoiling or anything like that because the fridge will hold all that cold in there. Plus, I don't usually open my fridge at night. Every time you open a fridge, you're going to dump the cold out of it. So at night, after I've got my dinner meal and whatever, I don't open my fridge back up. That keeps the cold in there. It keeps everything fresh and frozen and like that. And that way, it lasts clear through until the next morning when I start up the fridge again. So that's my system. These are an Edge Star fridge. Uh, you can look them up on, on the Internet. I'll put a link down there in the information if you're interested in getting one of these. Uh, I, I can recommend this now that I've used this for about six months and feel pretty confident that this would be a good fridge for off-gridders, RVers, people with small solar electric systems. I think this would be a pretty good fridge. All right, folks, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, little video on refrigerators. If you have other ideas for refrigerators, please put them in the comments. Uh, I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Visit my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. Thanks and have a great day. Uh -huh.